Oh man, what can I say uh, about Street Fighter 4 other than the fact that uh, it was the fighting game that pretty much saved the FGC in my opinion, if not definitely expanded it. It was the first time I first like discovered what the term FGC meant. Oh yeah, here's Tokido. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is the clip. Get ready chat. This is Tokido doing the demon on the projector. So Look at it. Oh, I'm blocking it. You can kind of oh, see it, though. Man. Yeah! <laughs> Calling him out! Back in 2009, I still remember the day when Street Fighter 4 was, like, shown off, like, gameplay and stuff like that. Not even when it was announced, but, like, when they were showing off gameplay previews. And me and my older brother were, like... We were getting so excited about it because we grew up playing Street Fighter, obviously, you know, playing the Alpha games um, and things like that. The EX games, um, playing Marvel vs. Capcom and having Street Fighter characters in there. You know, the CBSs of the world, CBS2 and things like that. And uh, yeah, man, I, I'll never forget the day that one of his friends at the time came over and he had a copy of Vanilla Street Fighter 4. And uh, I remember we were playing for several hours. Like we, we pretty much started like at 1 p.m. and didn't stop playing until like, I don't know, like 6 p.m. or something like that. So like, like a five hour session or whatever. Which at the time for us, that, that was a long time for a fighting game. And uh, I remember like I had fought him because he was really good. My, my brother's friend, Snapshot's friend at the time was really good um, at Street Fighter 4, at least at the time he was. Uh, but no one really knew how to play. And uh, I remember I landed the uh, the Wrath of the Raging Demon on him, and I remember uh, my brothers and and you know his little his little brother at the time. I think it was his little brother. Um, they were they all got hyped. They're like, oh my god! I still lost, but it was cool because at the time, dude, I was I was a kid. 2009 was a long time ago, chat. It it didn't feel like it was long ago, but it was a long time ago. I was basically still a kid. Yeah, man. And and the reason I picked Akuma was because I just love the character so much. He was so freaking cool. And uh, in my opinion, this is like one of the best iterations of Akuma in, in Street Fighter history, in my opinion. He had so many cool um, things. Really easy moves. Um, his air fireball was amazing in this game. And, um, and just like the, the video that I reacted to when we first started the stream, like, we saw how much Akuma was a menace in Street Fighter 4 for a, a relatively good period of time. I don't, I, I don't think he was ever, like, the toppest of tier in this, like, in Street Fighter 4 history, in my opinion, right? He wasn't, like, Evil Ryu or Yun or, you know, or anyone like that, uh, but he was always a character kind of like a character specialist in my opinion people who know how to play the game could play akuma really well however i feel like if you played akuma like really really good it was because you you knew the character in and out man it was just so much fun but street fighter 4 holds such a special place in my heart man um and i have to give it up to like you know who who remembers excellent adventures man excellent adventures i know with all the controversy with gutex now or over the last couple of years of unfortunately and you know mike ross obviously leaving the show and stuff like that affected that but i was one of those people who grew up watching excellent adventures man and and watching that honestly is what propelled my love for street fighter if i'm being honest i don't know if anyone in chat knows about excellent adventures which was a, a YouTube series that was created by Gutex and Mike Ross. Literally, they would play Street Fighter 4 and bring special guests, like pro players and, and just people who contributed to the scene at the time. And they would hop on ranked and stuff like that. And uh, it was just... It was just so much fun, man, at the time. Yeah, man, it was it was it was such a cool era. It was the first time I was watching tournaments consistently, like like I remember watching Canada Cup for the first time and seeing these players um, you know, do first to tens and stuff like that. It's the first time, not even the first time I heard of Daigo, but like seeing Daigo play a whole bunch and Fudo and Tokido and Mago and K Brad and all of these you know, all of all of these like fighting game players um, 
it was it was so cool to get into man and i i really owe street fighter 4 tons of credit because again it was the game that got me seriously into fighting games and why i would always at least give fighting games a try i was never really good at this game granted as we saw from the gameplay just trying to do like one link combos and stuff like that was pretty hard the neutral in this game is also very very different from anything that's like modern day street fighter i think the the version that i played the most was honestly ultra street fighter 4 man like i i played super street fighter 4 you know i played arcade edition quite a bit but it wasn't until ultra street fighter 4 came out that i really like like i sunk my teeth into it and i that's that was this was the version that i played the most of the final version of it where i had all the characters and stuff like that but i think that's it Ultra Street Fighter 4 was the height, in my opinion. It was the height of the game. I remember so many people watching tournaments. There was so, so much YouTube content around that time. There were, so, dude, there were so many tournaments on Ultra Street Fighter 4. There were so many, literally left and right. And it was, yeah, Capcom Pro Talk. I remember that as well. So I owe so much to this game, man. And uh, and even, in, to, in my opinion, man, this game had some of the best characters too, man. If we're, if we're just talking Akuma-like characters, we just tried a little bit of Oni and I'm just, I wish I had more time to learn the character and figure out how to play against him. Or sorry, f figure out how to use him and stuff like that because Jeez, man, uh, uh, freaking Oni was such a cool character. Evo Ryu obviously was a very notable character. He's like he's like one of the best characters in the game. And uh, I remember Daigo hurting tons of people with him in tournaments. I remember I remember even one time when um remember when Snake Eyes remember that one tournament where he was like, all right, I'm not using Geef anymore. I'm just gonna switch to Evil Ryu because he's like top tier, and I'm trying to win this tournament. <laughs> I remember he switched to Evil Ryu. Just to like, just because he was going up like against a really bad matchup, man. My my point is is that uh, there there was some really cool characters in this game, and uh, a, a, once again, Akuma was the one, man. Uh, he's not the character that I stuck with the most, to be honest with you. My my main in this game was Guile. I played a whole bunch of Guile in this game, and I I feel like I'm still relatively comfortable with him, all things considered. Anytime I had a chance to play Akuma, I would, man. He'd always be, like, the second character I'd play. Like, all right, I'm not going to play Guile. I'm going to play some Akuma. And, um, and yeah, man. So, so really, I just, I just wanted to honor this game a little bit today because it's, it's, it's an amazing game. So many memories that I have with it. So many fond memories that I have with it. But, yeah, man. Uh, Street Fighter 4 is amazing. It's great. Akuma was so much fun. And, uh... We have one more game to go, which is uh, the, honestly, one of the best versions of Akuma, in my opinion. And although the game is not, you know, not everyone thinks it's well received, it's definitely, it, it, it was a time in Capcom, a very dark time in Capcom history. Not, not as dark as when, you know, all the shitty games are coming out in prior to SF4. We're going to be checking out Street Fighter V next. Um, and, uh, I am really, really looking forward to seeing Akuma in that game because he was actually pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. Hey.